This is a tutorial video on how to access the diagnostics mode in M18 batteries. If you haven't seen the video, we recently found the diagnostics mode. It's been in M18 batteries for about 10 years, but it was only accessible to Milwaukee and their service centers. But now we've mostly cracked it open and most of the diagnostics we can understand. I'm going to cover the hardware that you need. So the USB to serial adapter, the level shifter, that you'll need to sort of build. You don't have to build this one and I strongly encourage you not to build this one. And then I'm gonna cover installing Python on your computer and installing our script and how to run it. If you go to our GitHub page, we've now got a link here for working and non-working devices. I've got people to post in here which devices do and don't work. This, someone's confirmed that this one definitely works. This one I think works, but you need to add a resistor, so I'd probably avoid that. And this one doesn't work at all. It has to be a 3.3 volt. You'll find a lot of them are dual voltage. They'll be 3.3 and 5 volts, but we have to have 3.3 volts as an option. First thing you wanna do is make sure your computer can actually recognize it. Plug it in and see if we hear anything. Dun, dun, dun. Um, that means it's sort of recognized it, uh, but otherwise go into device manager, just press windows and then type device manager and scroll down to ports. It's in alphabetical order and we can see there USB serial port COM7. So that means that we recognize our thing. If you can't get past this stage, then don't go any further until you can see that. You may need to install drivers wherever you bought the thing from. Hopefully they will have a link for downloading it. Otherwise you will potentially be on a bit of a chase to try and find the right drivers. Now, level shifter. Do not build my level shifter, but I do recommend you get uh, headers. This is a little um, header block that I just snapped off. And that means that you're not soldering directly to your board. So I can just take that in and out. And yeah, it means that I can remove it if I need to, if I want to use that for something else. We recommend using the level shifter that I showed in the video. Unfortunately, in that description, it said it was a 3.3 to 5 volt level shifter, which confused a lot of people. It is, in fact, a general purpose level shifter that will shift at whatever voltage you tie into it. So what we're doing is we're tying B plus of the battery with this yellow wire into the central HV um, spot. Green is the transmit out of the adapter. That goes into the low voltage one, and then out comes high voltage two. So this will be a three volt signal, and then once it goes through there, it gets boosted up to the 20 volts from the battery, or 18 volts, or whatever it is. But then on the receiving side, so the battery outputs three volts, so we just wanna pass that straight through. We don't wanna do any boosting or anything to that signal. That signal is already good. We can put it straight through. Don't do what I did with these um, trashy little jumper wires. For starters, I think these ones are steel wire, which is a really huge pain to solder. And also these small pins are really difficult to make a good contact. You want to use um, spade terminals. But yeah, use spade terminals. And then for this, it's just a couple of bits of plywood that I sort of stacked and hot glued together. So installing Python, click on the installer. Make sure you check this box, add python.exe to path. Otherwise your life will be difficult and use admin privileges to install it and go. Getting our script. You go to the GitHub page and then you want to click on this green button here and you can either download zip, which is probably the simplest way, but you can also use GitHub desktop and that'll automatically sync with what you've done. Um, so as we make changes, which there'll probably be quite a few of the next coming days and weeks, then you can automatically just sync it and you'll have everything. Otherwise, yeah, you just have to keep an eye on um, changes. I recently added a few things three hours ago and then you can just have to keep downloading the zip each time or just download only the files that change. Go into our M18 protocol where the scripts are, click on the address bar and then type PowerShell and enter and it will launch the PowerShell from within that folder. So we're already there, there's all our folders. Okay, so then we can type PYTH, press tab, Python exe, dash dash, help, and it looks like we have Python installed. 
Now we do also need to install some requirements. So you'll notice in here requirements.txt and what you can do is type pip install dash r and then requirements and you can just do req and press tab and then it should install pi serial and requests. So we've got Python installed and we have installed the requirements pi serial and requests and you can just type Python and m18.py and it'll put you in the thing and do you choose port 3 and then you're in the shell where you can access your m.health and blah 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 blah. That command again but with dash dash port com7 and then we're in and we don't have to go through the menu. So now that it's um the script is running, while the script is running this device will be holding that pin low and we can connect it. So put it in. We should be seeing a low voltage on the J2 pin. 0.13, so that's good. And then on the J1 pin, we're seeing 0.81. And that should be less than one volt. A little bit of a debugging test is use this command m18 high underscore four five so that will hold j2 high for five seconds so j2 0.13 volts j1 0.81 volts i'm going to press enter and then this should go up to a much higher voltage there we go 8.8 .8 volts so that's enough for the battery to recognize it 8.8 .8, and then j1 should be 3.2 volts. Probably the best thing to do is to just run m.health straight away once you're in. And there's our health report. One other test you can do if things aren't working is m.reset. This should always return true. If it doesn't give you true, then you've got a problem. It's going to be your logic levels or you've got bad connections or maybe your logic shift is not working. Now the other commands you can do, m.readid will let you read all of the registers. So health kind of just shows you the important ones, this shows you all of them. And it's got the register ID as we have called it just in order, and then the address, the number of bytes, what data type it is, and then our label of what we think it is. Some of these are probably going to be wrong and they'll get updated as we go. m.readid and then put output equals raw. And this will output a form that can be pasted into a spreadsheet. You can select them all. Select it, do, do, scroll back up to near the top and you want to include the date. The date there is the date that you captured this set of data and then you do control C to copy it and then come over to your spreadsheet. There's the link there on the uh, GitHub. Click on that and in case you can't tell, I do not want you to request access to this document. Once you get into the document, you go to file and click on make a copy or download. So I've copied the data in, I click on this here, this field here where it says select here and then control V. File which is for putting all of your batteries in, you can put one battery per column so you can see them all in one thing and I've created this one that allows you to take a snapshot of the same battery. So you post, paste it in here and then every time you do a thing and these grey columns will show you the difference between each snapshot. These blue numbers here are blue fields, are ones that are calculated, so it calculates the imbalance, the difference between the maximum and the minimum cell, and then the total imbalance, which is how much voltage you've lost due to imbalance. If you've got one cell that's high, and then you've got four cells that are 10 millivolts below it, then your total imbalance will be 40 millivolts, even though your imbalance will only be 10 millivolts.